Are we back? I think so. I have no idea why the internet just pooped out there for a sec. The good news is you didn't get to see my incredibly embarrassing death. And when I say incredibly embarrassing, oh, I forgot how far this mode pushes you back. When I say incredibly embarrassing, it was really bad. Um, I should not be as this reckless because it wasn't actually from, from getting hit by an enemy, which is the worst part. It's just because there was a bottomless pit that I didn't even realize you would, um, you know. Okay, we'll watch this. Come on, dude, step back for a sec. There you go. Peace, dog. Um, yeah, it's because there's a bottomless pit and I was doing an attack and it... It didn't work for me. So I want to get... Nope, wrong button. Give me this back. Yes. There we go. Now that we got our shield back. So not only is it a good shield, but this attack here, when you're at max power, is probably one of the best ones. So, like, it deflects projectiles, which is great. Yeah, it was, it was in this room here where there's the bottomless pit here that I was doing an attack and because I was doing an attack, it sort of kind of super killed me. It is also a technically physical attack, so it cannot be deflected. Yeah, I was right down there. I did a jumping attack like a fool. Hey, awesome. Give me that. You take that. And then we just back into his mouth. Oh, I hate this enemy. Alright, here we got Fatty Whale, whose name is literally what he is. He is a rather rotund whale. Now, if you're guarding, you can build it up, and not only that, you have the aura around you, so you'll do minor chip damage to Kirby. Nothing too crazy. This is the best power for uh, the arena, which is like the, the boss rush mode, because, again, like, here I am just charging up. And, like, it provides an aura around me. I can't really be hurt, per se. And I charge up to... Show us the Black Mages. Yep. I can't be hurt too much. So, yeah, this power is awesome. There is also a glitch in this game where if you're on a ladder and manage to use... Uh, press both the up and down arrows at the same time, you will actually uh, crash the game. Now, you can't press up and down at the same time on a regular controller because it's a Super Nintendo. But if you're on a computer, it's very easy and it will totally murder your save. So, don't do that. Um, trolley's done... All right, on to area two. There's four areas in here. Oh, this this is the the um, Great Cave Offensive song. They got the remix in Smash Bros. and stuff. It's real good. Actually, I think this area is already done. Pretty much no, because we got a save point here. Yes. Uh, if you break the D-pad, can you do that? I. I don't know. I do not know enough about the Super Nintendo. Oh, I forget which one of these is the one you have to go in. I think it's actually the left one. Um, I don't know enough about the Super Nintendo uh, hardware to tell you the, the answer to that. I think this is the right one, yep. Ha, you fool. You're hurting yourself. This is the worst stage or worst stage in Smash Bros. You know what? Uh, you're really not wrong. Uh, I think it could be done a lot better, but I still enjoy it. And you know why? Because it's from one of my favorite Kirby games. Kirby games are pure, wholesome, and good, and I will not hear anyone say otherwise. Also, I think I totally went into the wrong door. Honestly, I find Great Cave Offensive not as bad as the um, Ice Climber stage in Melee. I think that is actually probably one of my least favorite stages in any Smash Bros. game. I think that stage is legitimately bad. But uh, but what I mean, why am I to to say bad things about everyone's favorite game of all time? It's it's yep, it sure is Melee. Bud, buddy, bud. Pal, get back here. Thank you. Oh, what a good... Because cause this goes a little bit into, like, the main Kirby Superstar theme, too. Oh, it's so good. No, I'm super wrong. I have to... Oh, hey, it's the Megatama from, from Phoenix Wright. Um... Just the melee being at... Yeah, melee should not be at Evo. Come on. They're all, oh, grassroots movement, you know, with without the involvement of, of anybody. So it's like, why are you so excited for, for Melee to be at EVO if you want it to stay a grassroots movement? 
punk. Also, every every time I see people saying they should ban Bayonetta in Smash Bros, I want to I want to hurt someone. Leave Bayo in Smash Bros. Bayo is not even as bad as Fox, but just because it's a DLC character and not a furry, people want to ban her. Like, oh my god. The Smash Bros community is literally the worst. I love those games, but everyone who plays them competitively is... Okay, I, I am exaggerating. I have friends who play it competitively who are fine. But, for the most part, I see people playing it competitively and every single one of their opinions makes me want to cry. I hate spikes. I hate spikes. They're cold and they're rough and they get everywhere. I lost my power. That sets the way to the thing. Oh, hey. Good. Good. Yep. I used to play competitively and the community was too toxic, so I dropped it. Yep. The community is really bad. I got yelled at in, um... When I went when I went to a Smash tournament because I said they're like, hey, what do you play? And I said, oh, you know, I I like because this was during, this was pre Smash Four. I'm like, yeah, I like to play Brawl. And they're like, wow, you don't even play, uh, Project M. And then they laughed me out of the tournament. So like, yeah, no, not not the biggest fan. Literally laughed me out of the tournament. I wasn't allowed to compete. So it's not good. And then when Smash 4 came out, there was people who were like, "Yeah, you're not playing Pro, you're not playing Project M. What are you, scrub?" I'm like, N "No, just don't like it." Um, for this fight, we'll pick. We'll put you into Tire Man. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll pick Wing because Wing can do projectile stuff. Oh God, I forgot about this fight. Okay. This fight is both amazing and not the best. Whoops. Okay, so... This is literally... It's called the RPG fight. And it's literally... You just... Then you guard. And then he... Then you get to attack. Then you guard. And then you get to attack. This is actually such a great idea for a fight. But it's not the most fun, honestly. Yeah, Wing is pretty good here because you can mash it really fast. He attacks, doesn't hurt me. But like, it even reacts to, um... It reacts to when you, um... When your partner takes damage, it's really good. It'll say like, Kirby and Party took damage if you both get hit. I think the max you can do is 30 damage. So this mode, the final boss is a witch, but in the refights later, the final boss is a, um... The final boss is a dragon, which is kind of cool. Wonder if it says Wheelie died. Which retreats? Oh, wait, what? No, we're not going to let that. Which attacks? I think it's supposed to be guards is what it was. Oh, it did not say that Wheelie died. You can also get powers on the side. Get out of here. Such a good- like, here's, here's the good part. You earned 111 experience points. You earned- so the one- I think the, the, in the, um, in, um, Kirby Superstar Ultra, it'll say, like, you gain- you gained a level, but it doesn't mean anything in this game, which is adorable. This one just gives you kind of generic stuff, but that's cute. I love that. What a good fight. What a good unique boss fight. It makes absolutely no sense in the canon of this game, but you know what? That's fine. No, give me this. No! I actually think this might be the fastest way to move, is to do the dash attacks. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got there faster. So, in the end... Project Phoenix Productions started watching! Hey, what's up, dude? Um... Do I even need to go through the castle? I don't think I do. Yeah, I can just move on to the next area. The castle is entirely optional. Hey, what's up, Pete? How's it going, my dude? I'm just playing this game because I'm sick, and this game gives me the good warm feelings that makes me happy, so I'm playing through as fast as possible, hence speedrun. Alright, so I think, are we at racist caricature? Or is there one more area? I think there might be one more area. Oh, close. 
Got you notif- uh, notif- you doing Mon Hunt earlier. I was not playing Mon Hunt, but it might have- it might have just said it, because I- I do it on my phone and it doesn't save always, so. So you're sick. Hey, that's life, I guess. But, uh, that's- that's what happens when you go and, uh, work with kindergartners, so. Uh, for Wham Bam Rock, do I want to just use Wing for now? I think Wing is probably the best bet. Oh, no, ice. Give me ice. Nope, did mean to kill ice. Never mind. Oh, wow, the, the star will actually cause that to go- Oh, I didn't know that the star would actually, um, cut it. That's very interesting. That's a neat little- thing I just discovered. You learn new stuff about this game every single day. But yes, I've never played Kirby- <gasps> My dude, you must fix that one day. Like, this game is the best one uh, in your region. It's actually called Kirby's Fun Pack, which is a dumb name, and I do not like it as much. Um, but here it is, Kirby Superstar Ultra. Uh, but yeah, this one's my favorite. Robobot's really good too, actually. I would I would definitely say Robobot is one everyone should play. Is this where yes, this is the final boss of this one, which is uh Mr. Popo from the Dragon Ball. Oh look at him. They did not edit him to be less racist in this version, that's for sure. They did in the DS version though, which is good, because yep, he is not looking too hot, honestly. Uh my first meeting with Kirby was Melee. Yeah, I think most people, you know, knew Kirby from Smash before they played any of the other ones. And this is pretty much Master Hand, really, because this is- Nintendo loves their hand bosses, so... Whoa, I did not know I could do that with the individual pieces. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, that's a melee attack. Uh, was this boss recolored purple? No, he was turned into entirely stone, which looks admittedly a lot better. Um, let's use... Yeah, bomb is probably the best, because then we can use projectiles on him. Some of us forget there was a game before melee. Yeah, there was, uh, and admittedly, this was, uh, I much, I much prefer this, uh, the first one to melee, so... But actually, this game uh, shares a lot in common with Smash Bros, uh, because it is made, of course, by Sakurai. So a lot of the- I forgot there's no real bomb aiming in this one. A lot of the- like, like for example, this is Kirby's guard pose. They would actually later on give him just straight up his, um, you know, give Kirby his uh, shield around him. The whole menu system here, bo uh, both, both, both this one and the Smash Bros games were made by Sakurai's wife, so... He's nearly done, but then so is my partner. There we go. What if there's a boss rush game comprised of uh, every hand boss from every Ninty game? That, something close that happens. Because actually, Master Hand and Crazy Hand appear themselves in a Kirby game. So you get to, like, fight both that game, that Kirby game's hand boss, as well as Master Hand and Crazy Hand. So, yeah, and then when you beat them, actually, in, in Amazing Mirror there, you would get Smash Kirby. Yeah, racism is defeated. Kirby has defeated all forms of racism. Um, you would actually get Smash Kirby, which used his, his Smash Bros. moveset, which is wonderful. So, ever try blocking while in your robot and planet Robobot? Uh, e I think. Doesn't he just put up his arms? Because blocking is actually super important in pretty much every Kirby game. Yeah, no, that's like, like, like this, this is Kirby's block from Smash Bros. right here. Because, again, Sakurai loves making all of his games pretty much the same. And that's it. We beat this one. Wait, what does he do then? Okay, I can skip this. All right, now time for the actual speedrun mode, pretty much. In this mode, you... Uh, this mode also has amazing... Dab? Okay. <laughs> um, the Robobot turns into a sphere and dodges. Oh, that's cool. This also has dialogue, which is weird. This is the first instance of Kirby actually, like, having a story, per se. Oh, and this song is a banger. I love the Re Revenge Meta Knight song. 
Oh no! So yeah, th this mode is basically the entire mode is on a time limit. Uh, I think when you when you when you beat a level, it does go back in time, so it's good. I thought Midnight was a good dude. N uh, he's not a good dude per se. Um, he's an anti-hero. I mean, he's kind of a good dude, but in the first couple games, he does start off as a villain. Uh, Kirby is like, no, I ain't having this, and then he fights. But uh, he he becomes a good dude. But for now, he is he, he is a bad guy. Also, yeah, this guy's called Heavy Lobster. He is a, I guess, a lobster. So there is a secret ability you can get from him. If he does his thing where he spews, um, he'll spew, um, like, paint. And if you suck that up, you will get the paint ability, which uh, in Kirby Robobot becomes a full ability. But in this one becomes a screen nuke that will recolor the boss. So that's cool. So yeah, we got knocked off the halberd there, which is in the background. Yeah, this mode is super cool because it's, like, super narrative. Like, you get, it's literally about Kirby destroying the Halbrid. Um, and this, this game is super canon, because in later Kirby games, you will, uh, go into the ocean and see the Halbrid in the ocean, which is great. It's, it's a wonderful bit of continuity in a series that really doesn't need it. Hey, bud. Oh, wait, you're a girl. And I died. Good. That's fine. So yeah, like, like, now that I'm in this section, the time limit stops changing, or, well, resets a bit, but, uh, otherwise, like, if I don't beat it, I don't beat this level in the 5,000 milliseconds or whatever, then I don't actually, you know, beat the level, per se, so. Oh yeah, and Kirby's flight with its wings actually deals damage, which is weird. So yeah, th this is a suplex enemy, it will try and suplex you, which means it will... Whoa, that was a weird flash. It will try and grab you. Grabs are obviously guard invincible. This game's just a fighting game. I lied, this is actually a fighting type enemy, so never mind. I love how Kirby Oh you Yeah, okay. Well, I mean You have the ending of Kirby Robo. I was gonna say don't spoil it, but at the same time it's it, I don't think it's it's too big of a spoiler now, but Kirby, yeah, the end of Robobot is literally the end of Gurren Lagon and it is the most amazing thing. And when people told me that the ending of Robobot made them nearly cry from how awesome it was, I was like, what are you talking about? And Robobot and this one go back and forth as my favorite Kirby game, because that game's conclusion is ridiculously hype. This game is a good conclusion too. I really like the final boss and everything of this one, but the ending of Robobot is literally like, like, shot for shot, like, big mech with smaller mech jumping out, and then Giga Drill Breaker, and it's so good. I cannot believe it. And you get to play it. Like, you get to, you get to spin the drill, and it's so good. I didn't mention the ending you did it. Yeah, I know, but it's fine. That'll get people to maybe play it. Because Robobot, I don't know, people were like, what's the point? It just looks like a derivative, like, uh, you know, Superstar, uh, not Superstar, but um, Triple Deluxe and stuff. And at first I was really like that. I'm like, yeah, it's just going to be like a sort of generic, like, you know, it's another Kirby game. But then that game goes way above and beyond, like, any, like, it's so good. The only thing that sucks about this game is that has some of the hardest um, bonus modes and stuff. Uh, let's grab that. Merci beaucoup. Um, okay, I'm gonna give that to you. I'm gonna take Parasol here for some nice easy. Parasol also has some pretty good invincibility. I think on its dash, yeah, like that dash attack has invincibility, I'm pretty sure. Oh, isn't this against double Wispy? Well, it's against Wispy for now, but... Yeah, we're kind of literally hurting him as fast as possible, pretty much. There we go. Did you notice the cutscene, Curie? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I really do think we'll 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 see the Robobot army, uh, Robobot armor in the future. So it's gonna be good. I don't think that's the end of of the Robobot armor. It's too hyped to not. All right. So now we're like literally, after we got blown off the ship, we're flying back onto the ship. We're like, that's it, you know? Yet yeah, none of these dudes come back, the other people on his team, which is a bit weird. I mean, aside from technically, um, 
the the waddle do does i think he is the the, the waddle do that joins you in other games but instead of wearing a hat he wears a bandana so hey dude hey hey my dude hey give me that back yeah, Umbrella, again, another seemingly basic ability ends up being super good, uh, because literally it always has a hitbox. It The hitbox never goes away. Um, well, I guess now it did. Oh, wait, no, it came back somehow. Okay, give me that. Okay, come on. I like how Ice Kirby gets a skating animation. I always like Kirby forms that change the, um... Good, good, thank you for changing into him. Um, that was sarcasm. I do like, uh, forms that change the, um... The design of, like, a run animation or a jump or something. Wow, we pretty much double-teamed them pretty quickly. I love that dash attack. No, I didn't want to get. Oh, wait, good. I, I thought I thought that was that was. So the good thing is, if you have a partner of Wheelie, you can ride him, and he basically counts as being. It's actually better than the Wheelie form itself. So that's cool. Uh, Bayonetta with chainsaws on her feet. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my god, I'm so excited for people to play Bayonetta now that like. It's out and everything. That was a mistake. Yeah, there's weird uh, attack frames on even, like, Kirby's jump. It's a bit weird. I don't know when they are, per se, but there are attack frames there. It's not consistent enough to be used at all, but... Okay, just... Oh, I couldn't... I couldn't... I couldn't undo him. I'm so excited for people to play Bayonetta. It's so good. It's, like, Bayonetta 1, one of my favorite games of all time. Bayonetta 2 is is better gameplay-wise, but the story does not get to the, the, the insane hype levels of the first, so. Oh, yeah, and if, if you're at... Oh, I need... I forgot I need Burning Leo here. Give me that. Um, if you're at full health, you can shoot sword beams. It's pretty good. They later on... Oh, you don't. Well, that's okay. Later on, they did add... Oh, no, you do, because I think the other one's a fake. Um, they added, um, a thing called the Skyward Strike, where literally you hold it up and Kirby charges it, and it's the Skyward Sword Strike. It's hilarious. It's wonderful. Hey, Dynablade, but guess what? It's not an opponent. It's our friend now, because we saved its babies by throwing them off a cliff. So now Dynablade goes and, you know, puts us onto the ship, which is dope. And now, back on the ship and we back to the best theme ever. We shot down Dynablade. Look, Kirby's reached the deck. Remain calm. Let's come up with a plan. Oh, I forgot that he he sounds like, um... He sounds like Antonio Banderas in the anime, which is weird. He's like, Kirby, you must go onto the bridge and and I am I am Metanite. Ho ho. That's the French. Why am I giving him the French? No, but he's like, he's like, I am... Meta Knight. I think it's because he's meant to look like Zoro, maybe, but it's 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 a weird touch that they did, and you know what? Honestly, I love it. Then you go back to like Smash Bros, and he's just like, he's just like, come fight to me, and it's like it's a little bit, but it's not really there. Bring back Tex and DDD though. I love Tex and DDD. It's the best. Okay, so these these guys are the Meta Knights. And they're just like little dudes who don't give powers, which sucks. I wish they gave powers. They have little cute weapons, though. So yeah, Med Knight was the villain of Kirby's uh, Adventure, which was Kirby 2, pretty much. Um, the, the, the one on the NES, because the first one was on Game Boy. And then Kirby's Adventure was on NES, so that's like kind of the... Kind of the main one where Kirby got his beginnings. Is this heavy lobs? Oh no, we're going to Twin Cannon first. God, the elevators and everything. Uh, excuse me. The elevators and everything work just like Subspace Emissary. And it's just so good. This game is basically... So Subspace Emissary is just Kirby Superstar 2. Which is pretty dope. Okay, no, I want to I get... Thank you. Uh, 
All right, let's get that. I need to watch my health. Ninja's pretty good in this game too, but it's 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 pretty weak itself actually. Okay, that dude suplex. Oh yeah, he became Poppy Bro. No, Yamate, could you stop? There we go. I could have grabbed Suplex there, but it's not good for bosses. Unlike Plasma, which is deliciously overpowered. Well, we know how to use it right. Which is pretty much ruin your thumb. D murder your thumb. Okay, so let's let's do Twin Cannon. Alright. Y'all remember this this dude from Smash Bros, right? The best part of the Meta Knight stage, the Halberd stage. I think if I stay here, I can destroy him, pretty much. No, because that's a grab. Oh yeah, like, like, like the little platform goes up to, to shoot you, it's great. Drops a bomb, doesn't work. Nope! Stop! Stop! There we go. Alright, so that's uh, the front of the ship completely destroyed. Utterly ruined. Kirby is a monster. Like, Kirby systematically destroys this area. <laughs> Look at that anime face, it's great. Um, so, this is Jet. It's a power I don't really like, but is apparently really good. So there is this, this is the speedrun power pretty much, because used properly, it can utterly destroy the game. I do not know how to use it properly. At all. It's cool looking. But I don't know how to use it. I mean, I think you just kind of... Just use it? I don't know. Please stop. How do I... I need to... I need to- I need to break it. How do I break it? Okay, whatever. I need bomb for now. Wait, did that hawk- No, he said holy cow. He said holy cow. It's- it's okay. That's- that's- that's rated E for everyone. There's no way Nintendo of this era would allow a holy crap in their game. Maybe Nintendo of now. Oh, one thing you gotta be careful for, if you have an enemy in your mouth, you can't fly. Which, uh, is, is pretty bad if you are, um, you know. Hey. No, please no eat, my dude. Alright. Yeah, Nintendo of now might throw in a holy crap. I mean, uh, Bayonetta is canonically a, a Nintendo game now. They are connected by universe, so... Serious damage to the left wing! See, so yeah, Knight hates this. Uh, don't I go in here? Thought I'd go in here. There, I had to jump, that's why. So yeah, it's like, wh what's Kirby do after he finishes with, with the outside? He goes in through the vent system. This is like, uh, this. Is, I love this mode so much. Hades says hell. And he not only says hell, he says it in the most non-needed way. Like, like I, Hades, king of the underworld, you know, lord of the underworld rather. You'd think he'd say hell because like, um, oh, you know, it's because he's... He's, he's talks about hell, and it's like, no, that's only called the Underworld. He just says raising hell at one point in a place that's totally not needed, and it's so weird. I, I was surprised, but then again, that game has many scenes in it that are not rated for children pretty much at all. It's pretty... Oh, I, I forgot I can't hurt him here. It's pretty much not a kid's game, Kid Icarus Uprising. That game deserves a T. Oh yeah, and the Xenoblade 2 cursing is incredible. Um, there's there's anim there's dudes in that who will say everything uh, it, when it's weird. Wait, am I like safe here actually? 
Oh. Yeah, pretty much it. Oh, no, I'm not! Okay. Yeah, the Xenoblade 2 cursing is incredulous. Um, give me, give me this dude as a partner. Give me this dude. There we go. Okay, I forgot, I forgot that you do have to, like, totally flee from this dude. And Cutter is not the best for movement. And that doesn't break things. Good. Yes, it does, sometimes. Heavy Lobster is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I mean, it, it's... I don't know why it's called Heavy Lobster, but, I mean... I guess it's kind of lobster-like in the end, a little bit. I only have a little bit left to kill this dude. So I'm gonna try and get the secret power on him. Nope. I only have nine, 900 seconds, let's go! I've never actually ran out of time in this mode, are you serious? Come on, dude. Oh no, oh god, it's actually gonna happen. Oh god. Come on, drop, drop some big enemies. Okay, there's a secret power. Good. Well, at least I'll be able to show that off. So I use paint. I think it kills it in one hit, doesn't it? Nope. But it's blind. Which means it, it won't actually attack me. Yeah, paint ability is super hidden. Like, it's not even considered an official ability in this one. Come on, dude, attack me. Good. I'm gonna run out of time. Hooray, RNG for enemies. Wait, the time's... Oh, oh my god, what? I've never seen it go actually tick down like that. That's so amazing. So I could do this. Okay. Come on, dude. Attack me. I need you to attack me. Yes, shoot it that way where it won't... <sighs> Maybe it's not the best idea to, to do this blind. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Like, puffs don't, don't do damage. Good. Good. Okay. This is, this is my life now. Me too, Kirby. Oh my god, I just need one more hit. Come on, dude. Come on! Please! And he has it. Okay. Well. Well. Rip. Yep, that's... Okay. Let's grab sword and a partner and we'll just slice him up. Come on, dude. Thank you. Okay. Well, that sucked. Oh, we have to run from him again. Are you serious? This gives you, like, no time. Well, at least I got to show off paint, which is a cool Easter egg. One that, like, not even many people know about, but... Yeah, because, like, I'm already at 13. Like, I'm... Oh, oh my god, are you serious? This is going to be such a crazy time limit. Oh wait, no, I got this. I'm good. Come on. Come on, no! Okay, if we pick this up and shoot at him, he should be done. There we go. Okay, whoo! I've never had that much trouble with that section. That's incredible. Major gem is right wing, don't worry if we're getting- So yeah, the, the time limit out resets, which is good, but I'm still gonna hurry. Okay. Underneath the ship, bottom is weak, the wind's too strong, it's too cold, I'm afraid of heights. 
Get it? He said chickens. He's a bard. Yeah, don't suck up enemies here because uh, you will fall. Actually, he'll grab this dude because he'll be good here. There you go. Hurry. Oh no. I did it wrong. Never mind. Oh, what a good song. No! Do, 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 do. That's like the Kirby Superstar theme, and it's such a good song. No, get off the ladder, you fool! No! Ah! I hate this section! Okay, run. Down. Ladder down. No! Damn it! Okay. Down. There we go. Down. Yes, there we go. Up. Okay, there we go. Nope. Up. On the D-pad, this is actually fairly difficult. Thank God that doesn't crush you. I'm gonna go back up, and I'm gonna take these for safety. Actually, that might be a section where two-player might be helpful. Because then you can have someone else flip the switch. Yeah, that, like, 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 your big hit is pretty much a one-hit KO. But even, like, your, your not full damage big hit does enough damage to probably kill most enemies. Oh, yeah, the tomatoes. It's all right. Uh, actually, I should grab a life. Never mind. Just, just in case. I don't even know how that actually killed them, because I was on the other side. But sure, man. Even the basic attack, because it it stuns enemies, so it's powerful. Okay, we're going for the reactor. This fight doesn't even matter, really. Uh, what you do for your ability. So for this fight, what you gotta do is you gotta aim the laser, and once it fires, it goes there. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much just stay here. Oh, well, you gotta, you gotta not get hit by that. And then this is gonna come down again. Right? This, this is just a waiting game. Pretty much. There you go. One more hit. And like, like, it's making noise, but it's not doing damage. Okay, come on, dude. There you go. Reactor's destroyed, and all the wheelies are flying out. Because they power the ship. Yeah, Kirby is a menace to society. Take a sip quickly. Mmm. All right. All right, ship's going down. That's okay, because I got my power I want. It really doesn't matter what power you choose here, because for the final encounter, you're not allowed to use what power you choose. It's it is a it is a predetermined power, in what is later a tradition. I think it is actually in the first Kirby game that had Meta Knight too. So, in like one of the few ways, because in one of the later games has Dark Meta Knight instead of Meta Knight, and one of the few ways you can tell it's him and not the real Meta Knight is he doesn't do this to you. So it's a neat little, it's a neat little thing. Oh God, good, good. I love that. That's great. That's wonderful. Yep. Well, I guess we're getting um. Let's use Ninja. Ninja's good projectiles. It also has a good multi-hit. It also makes you Naruto. Actually, in in later Kirby games, you literally become Naruto. Uh, the you get the ninja headband and everything. It is Naruto powers, and it is amazing. Let's grab this. Good. Hey, stop. And it has a grab too. Nice.
You actually, in, in later Kirby games, if you use the evade with it, uh, you actually do like a little ninjutsu and it's wonderful. Oh yeah, in every Kirby game, once you get to the end of an auto-scroller, it does not stop. And it's the worst. I don't know why they do that. But you will never get an auto-scroller to stop. Is this the room? Okay, wait. I can suplex these guys, though. These guys are weird, because they, they have way too much uh, uh, HP, but they are still, like, regular enemies, so... Also, Kirby gets a dive kick in this form. Please don't tell me that's all the time I have to fight Med Knight. Also, yeah, he just said prepare to die in an era where Nintendo was never allowed to have characters say die. So, yeah, Meta Knight here is a tough fight, actually. And, and so you always have to use sword against him. Uh, he will not fight you anything else. I think if you let the timer run out to where it's in the seconds, he will fight you otherwise. But otherwise, he will stay up there waiting for you to uh, attack him. But... He's actually not doing too bad, and he did not do his unblockable technique where he does a giant tornado at the other end of the screen, and you have to be beside him to make sure it doesn't hit, which sucks. There we go. And he's just a blue Kirby, which has never been explained, but that's okay. Okay. On to the finale now, where there is a minute left, 50 seconds, and we ride away on a wheelie that we just grab. It's the best. Now, you can die here, and it sucks if you do, so you gotta be careful. He will try and hurt you, he will try and attack you, there are little places to avoid. You can- oh jeez. He will fire copies of his sword out, because that's, I guess, something Med Knight can do, which I've never even realized he could do. 15 seconds, come on dude, come on dude! Come on, dude! No, come on, dude! Think we're just about 5, 4... No! Kirby! Kirby, no! 2, 1... Oh, I had one second left. I had one second left. Speed run. Oh, I deserve this ending. God, Kirby's so cool. Godspeed, you pink puff. There he goes. Typical anime protagonist, finishing with one second left. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, on to the last mode, which is Milky Way Wishes. So this one, the sun and moon are fighting. Now, this mode is quite different from anything else Kirby's ever done. Where now, you, uh, do not, you do not get enemy abilities by sucking up enemies at all. Um... Well, first off, we're going to go to the secret area first. Uh, because, so basically in this mode, you do not... Yeah, this is a secret area. So, spoilers. Uh, you do not uh, get enemy copy abilities. Kirby has lost that ability. Instead, you need to find little... Uh, okay, this area, I've never remembered it sucking this much. Uh, probably because I never come here first. Um, basically, you need to get these little things called uh, deluxe essences. And if you get them... It's like, okay, so you do get Crash still, because there's no Crash Essence, I guess. That's Crash. It's cool, but bad for speedruns. Um, basically, the way the Deluxe Essences works is you get them, and then at any time you can put on the power by pressing the X button. But uh, in this area, which is a secret area, you can actually get a special Deluxe Essence called Copy. Which does exactly what you might think. It lets us copy the enemy. So we pretty much navigate around the entire thing of this one. So uh, let's just start at the Fire Star. Why not? So you basically need to go through and defeat each of the stars. So you can at any time press... Uh, what button is it to, to go through your abilities? Does this, this even... X is easy select. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
So you can at any time press X and go through your abilities. Uh oh, that was a mistake. So now we're Sleep Kirby. Sleep Kirby goes to sleep, and that is about it. So yeah, copy ability literally lets you copy, which in any other mode seems incredibly redundant, but in this mode allows you to actually play it as you want. But like, for instance, if we suck up Sir Kibble here, who, okay, well you won't see it because I got hurt, uh, you will not be able to get Kirby's blade ability, or the cutter ability, because we are not in a place where you can get that, so... You know, it's it's a really interesting it's like that. Like we, Kirby does not get copy abilities here. It's a really interesting way of going about this, and I actually think it's a really cool way to subvert your expectations while still keeping in in time with Kirby. So, actually, I do think I want to hop in these. There we go, because that will break those, which will let us go there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. Alright. No, nope, wrong way. So this is, you can see how they're like, you know, you want to go on some and not others, so. Hey, can we move? Thank you. Nope, yeah, like that was a bad one. It doesn't hurt you, but then you're near lava, which can hurt you, so don't touch it. And the lava works like it does in Smash Bros. It completely destroys everything and sends you careening everywhere. So, yeah, don't do that. I think I was not supposed to hit that exit. That's okay, because I think you can still get it. Nope. Uh, did I screw myself? I don't think so. Did I? I might have. Oh, no. Well... That's okay. I accept that death. Because I did actually screw up there. Okay, don't use those. Got it. Yeah, so let's use... Let's just... Good. Good. This is fine. Okay, no, we need it. Just don't use the last one. I forgot that you can screw yourself out of it. Actually, now that I think about it, it does r remind me. So... Good. Someone tells me this is not a world record speedrun. My friend, it is. I am the best at Kirby. Ah, uh, don't you know? Kirby is everyone's friend. We will not hear slander of non-friend talk on this stream. I did not mean to do that. Wait, what does he give me? Oh, I get crashed from him. Cool. That's actually incredible. I mean... If it was in any other room where these in where these guys were not the biggest obstacle, you know. Nope. Yamate yeah, could you stop? Give him that life. Don't touch that. There we go. You're not, you're not making very good time, my dude. You know what? I'm having a good time. And that's what matters. I mean, I'm I'm literally in the last couple levels of this game. I feel like that's not too bad for a first speed run with zero practice, you know? Like, once I get to the final boss of this mode, that's it. I'm done. So... Thank you for the life. These cannons do not work like Donkey Kong because I think you can influence the direction if you hold the direction. It doesn't always work, but you get pretty close. It might just help with timing. Alright. Oh, Camellio. Right. Camellio Arm. He was a boss I did not fight earlier. So all the bosses in this mode are harder versions of the ones you fought earlier. But... Yeah, I'm actually going to take that so I get a partner and then I can just... See. So, so for instance, I can just... Oh, wait! Can I... Because I can get paint from him, too, also. This is the other enemy that gives paint. So let's see if I can suck up the paint ability. Hey, I killed him, but I did not get paint. That's fine. Alright, I did not get any essences there. Oh, also, those are the, uh... This is a, um... Fountain of Dreams. Like, the Smash Bros. stage. It's actually pretty good for melee. So that's cool. 
Okay, next up we got... Uh, let's go to the Machine World. And it plays a good theme again. Theme World Mechai. Can I, can I, I was going to say, I probably can't do it on Gordo. All right. So this is obviously like where I know the least, oh, okay. As I was saying, this is probably where I know the least about Kirby because I never always got this far. Like, like this, like I, I, I get this far occasionally, but most of the time I usually play the first couple. And then that's about it. I never actually, I usually go, like, I'll, I'll sometimes beat Meta Nightmare, but not always. This is going wonderfully. Good, this is, this is fine. All right. Please don't be trolls. Thank you. Oh, that that's what it was. It would have trolled me there. Good. Let's get copy back. Come on, come on, get in the door. I will say the controls on the, um... Good, thank you, I wanted that bird, but that's fine. On the 3DS ver- or the DS version are greatly enhanced. Uh, it is ridiculous how much better the controls are in the, uh, in the updated version. Oh, I'm getting stuffed up again. I hate having a cold. But I must get through this for Kirby. Okay, I think I can run. Yes. Then if I fly, I can get up to the... Up to this. Get that. There we go. I think I can get a copy build if I go here. Oh, can I get yo-yo? Because if so, I'm so happy. Nope. Yes, I got yo-yo, so now I can literally at any time use yo-yo, which is good, because I love yo-yo. I don't know why he's called Gim, but I like Gim. I'm happy Gim is back as, as the representative of the yo-yo power, too, because he's pretty... He's on the cover of Star Allies, which is weird, because he's not the most... Uh, regular looking enemy. In fact, he looks kind of weird, but hey, that's fine. So like between Yo-Yo and uh, PSI, you can basically just be, um, you can basically just be Ness entirely in this game, which is, which is pretty, well, PSI and Star Allies, but in this one, it's like, if you look at the background, it's actually using the Earthbound menu uh, for the Yo-Yo buttons. So that's kind of cool. Get out of here. I think top left is where I have to go. Shout out to Star Allies being rated E10+. Well, that's okay. Star Allies is apparently a giant allegory for religion. Um, all of the enemies' names, like the enemy generals in Star Allies, are named after the three gifts that were given to Jesus uh, when he was born. Um, the whole story is basically about religion gets introduced in Dreamland, and it is very clearly based on Christianity, which is the single weirdest thing I think Kirby has ever done. And yet, and yet, it's entirely in line with the sort of weird, semi-dark bullcrap that Kirby will sometimes do. Like, it's, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, it's basically Shin Megami Kirby, you're right. You're not wrong. All right. Yeah, so, no, Kirby Star Allies is, is an allegory. Just like Kirby um, Planet Robobot was a joke on capitalism and the uh, ways that people will, um, you know, kind of what they'll sacrifice for, for capitalism, uh, Kirby Star Allies is that for religion. So I'm excited to see where that goes. All right. So now we're on Half Moon, which uh, is, I think it's because it's like partially a moon. That's no moon, XD. Nice Star Wars reference. 
Hey, please no Slammy. Slammy classic Sonic fan. Uh, give, give me the fruit juice. Give me the fruit juice. Alright. Let's go. Hey, here's a Kirby constellation. Adorbs. This level, it's very tough to tell what's ground and what's not. So, pro tip just use a minecart through space. Space minecarts. Space minecraft. Please don't install Minecraft on school computers. There's lots of viruses that are put into them. Oh, is High Jump Kirby in this one? I don't remember. I like High Jump Kirby a lot. That's a very weird... No, I don't think High Jump Kirby is in this one. That's a weird power that's really obscure, where it just gives Kirby the ability to jump really high. And that's a really good power. There we go. So, like, there's a lot of secrets in these rooms involving finding, uh, essences. Also, yeah, this one's like, you can go forward or just go back one and you can get brought through it. Um, yeah, that makes this room a lot easier. Um, the only thing is you don't get the maximum tomato or I think there's a essence at the end. Nope. You just get brought to the end. So, Chef Kawasaki gives Cook Kirby, which is a one-hit KO on everything on screen. Which is dope if you want to use it, but I don't. Also, yeah, dying enemies can hurt you. Um, actually, high jump is basically King Didi's up B move. Yeah, kind of, but you can aim it a lot better. Uh, you can do some really good aiming with it, which is pretty nice, because you can, like, like, it's a real, like, that's a speed run ability. You get to just fly with it, literally. Like, it's really dope. Oh, yo, yo. Why are you the coolest ability? Yo-yos are cool, and I'm astonished that kids nowadays know what yo-yos are. Like, that was one thing I would have thought would have been lost with time, but I was when I was teaching kindergarten and kids were learning the, the letter Y, they had yo-yo examples. I'm like, do you know what that is? And they're like, it's a yo-yo. And I'm like, wow, I have no idea how you're right, but you are. I'm going to try copy on this guy. I've never tried copy on this guy. See, so yeah, we're back in the second RPG boss fight. So we start with the witch. Wow, copy does a lot of damage. Like how my partner like never guards. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how kids wouldn't know what they are. Well, I mean, it's not like a widely known thing. Like yo-yos are not like a like a toy that kids ask their parents for. Like I I don't know any kid nowadays who's like, yeah, I want a yo-yo for Christmas. It's like no, most kids nowadays want a an iPad. Maybe they get an, an, an iPad app. Yo-Yo is still kind of thing, especially, I guess in cartoons and stuff, that's right. And then there, there are all sorts of old cartoons that would still have them in. So you're right. No, I want, I want, co I want copy, there we go. Red Dragon. He gets a preemptive attack and scratches. I like the, I like this symbol for scratching, it's cute. 54 damage. I go to his retreats where he very clearly defends. Uh, that is definitely fixed in the Game Boy, uh, in the uh, DS version. Yeah, it does a lot of good damage. Okay, dude, just die so I can get another one. Thank you. Let's try yo-yo, see how much that does. 18 damage? Yeah, let's go back to, to copy. <laughs> Scratches. Dude, guard. Good job, dude. Oh, if you got hammer, you could do the, the, the one attack, which is a one-hit kill, pretty much. I think a two-player run of this would be an interesting speed run. Get a partner, you know? I mean, it'd be no different from, like, a Donkey Kong Country-style one. We defeated all enemies. You earn 184 experience points. You earn three tenderness points. You earn four beauty points. You earn two appetite points. You earn four exam score points. You earn four courage points. 
You're in for friendship points, because we had friends. Man, the yo-yo being smoke quartz weapon is kind of strange. Oh, right. I, I do not speak much Steven Universe since you talk positively about it several times. I thought I'd do so. Yeah, no, I really like Steven Universe. Um, but yeah, no, definitely like, yeah, the I, I guess kids would know it from like stuff like that. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm a big dumb. I'm an old person now. Kids, kids look at me and they're like, what's up, grandpa? I'm like, guys, I'm 22. And they're like, yeah, grandpa. I want to cry. Like, how, you're like, how's your back, grandpa? And I'm like, guys, I'm literally like... 10 years older than you. They're like, yeah, I bet you, like, probably grew up in the Stone Age or something. I guess we got a cutter. I don't even know how. Thank you for saving me, dude. Wait. Let's get copy. Can we copy him? Yes! Time to eat him up. Uh, you also throw food in there. Okay, so come on. Din din. I love it. Alright, let's go back to Yo-Yo. Yo, dudes! It's Yo-Yo Kirby. Look how cool he is. So yeah, I could definitely see people thinking that this game is short, and it is. Um, did you say devour them? Beat- no. Um, oh, you- are oh, you talking about in-game, not the- not the students. Good. Um, this game, if, you know, is definitely a shorter Kirby game. Uh, it is not one of the longer ones, mostly because there's a lack of collectibles. Apparently, Cook Kirby's a thing in the new Kirby game. Yeah, well, and Cook Kirby's in pretty much every Kirby game. Like that's that's not anything new at all. Um, but uh, most Kirby games usually have an unlockable uh, that you know you can you, you can try and, and do there is bonus modes too like there is the arena there's um i don't know if helper to hero is in the super nintendo version i know in the ds version there's helper to hero where basically you get to play as any of the enemy partners where you basically get to play as who two player would play as which is kind of cool okay come on back dude take the hat take the hat there you go so we got Bomb now. Bomb's a pretty good power too. Actually, most Kirby powers are pretty good. Like, it's, there, there's, like, even the ones you get early game, you look at and you're like, yeah, like, that is still good. I think if I go further, I might get Hammer, which is really good if I get that. Okay, Gim, how come you're facing backwards, my dude? Yeah, Hammer power. This is good, because, again, like, this, basically a one-hit kill. And we can hit pegs in. I love pegging. So, let's go and finish the stage up. Like, I guess every individual mode in this game has unlockables, but most Kirby games have, like, a consistent sort of singular unlockable. There we go. Did not think this place is called Cavios. I think all these stars got renamed for the for the Ultra too. I could also be super wrong. I love I love saying stuff that I don't even know the answer for. Oh yeah, and some powers can be used underwater, like Hammer, which is really good because the regular sort of default um, ability underwater is not the best. There you go. Rock? Sure. I like rock. Rock's dope. Give me that. Thank you. Ite. Cool. That was not where we actually had to go, but that's fine. Water levels in Kirby have never been a problem. Like, I know in some games, water levels are always a problem, but like in Kirby, water levels are fine. Oh, and this game has the, the, the cool rare powers that you can get too, which is which is always fun. Okay, bomb for, for wham bam is, is a good a good choice. Is this still just regular wham bam? Yeah, it's still regular Mr. Popo. A partner is nice here because you can draw the aggro to him instead, which is quite useful. 
Help. Okay, take it. Dude, take it. Run. Gim. Gim. Gims. You fool. Okay, so let's go bomb. Grab a bomb partner. Racism never stops. It's you gotta you gotta be ever vigilant. Bomb. Bomb in later Kirby games gets a lot of really cool powers, like the ability to roll bombs, the ability to hold on to bombs, and completely, like, just, just chuck them at enemies. Um, the ability to run past an enemy, drop a bomb on their head, and continue running, uh, which just leaves them shocked with a bomb on their head. It's wonderful. I think we got four worlds left, and then we got the boss rush, so... The final boss rush. Like, as in, there's multiple final bosses. Next up, we're at, uh, Ice Moon, which is... Oh, no, Sky High. It's the Sky World. Featuring this song that is once again a meme. Love wins, as always. Okay, I'm gonna grab... Copy. I want ice here so I can be like... Yeah! The cool thing about ice, ice turns enemies into ice cubes, or it turns you into an ice cube, uh, that when you then kick, can be used as a projectile, which is pretty dope. I don't think it works on Mr. Freezy here, but, uh, it does. I don't think I need to do that. No, I think it needs to be the final hit, maybe. I do not have a firepower, so I cannot get that one secret, but that's okay. Because it is that exactly that, just a secret. Oh, my nose is so runny and it's the worst. I want to die. Oh. I love being sick. It's the best. Oh god, which one is it? Let's go middle. Oh, it's like this, I see. Stop. Yamaro, could you stop? So this dude's just gonna keep blowing up. Unless he touches an enemy. There you go. I have no idea why you became- I guess because those are boomerang bros. This looks like the end? Yes. Hey! Yo, Kirby can be a baby! Drink that milk! Slip slurp. I love the one screenshot of Kirby that just says, I'm just a baby, and I do not know where it's come from, where it came from, but I love it. It's wonderful. We'll get out of here eventually, like right now, I say as I get brutally injured. Okay, eat. Eat of my mouth. There we go. Oh, here's where we fight Krako again. But I'm invincible, so I can just, like, stay inside of him. And he hates it. So, like, just using your own powers actually makes it- makes enemies, like, take way more hits than- than using their, like, uh, projectiles against them. But, here's the thing. Just because it- it does more damage, you have to go up to the RNG of them to actually do the attacks, which sucks. Okay, he's nearly there, though. Oh, you got the final hit, Waddle Dew. I'm so proud of you. All right. Do your dance. Yeah! Eight. Now. Also, yeah, those are star rods in the background, but uh, they, they don't play a major part of this game. I think we got uh, just two left here. This one is the ice world, maybe? Aqualus. No, this is the water level, I guess. Let's use a uh, hammer so we can have an attack underwater. Oh, this game is such a good soundtrack. Kirby games are really like to reuse music, and that is totally fine because every remix of them is like just as good, if not better, than the last. So I will, I will accept it. 
I mean, it's no different from any Nintendo franchise where they're like, hey, this song is a remix of this song. Except Kirby's a bit weird because it will do remixes of songs and be like, no, this is a new song. And it's like, how come it sounds the exact same as Gourmet Race? Like, Fountain of Dreams and Gourmet Race are the exact same song. And it's like, uh, it's the instrumentation. And it's like, okay. I'll take Parasol. Parasol's good and defensive. Also, you can float with it, which is dope. Because you can just like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. You have to hold up. There you go. It's adorable. Also, you can use Parasol underwater, too. Which is nice, because it's like like a bit, a bit of a guard, too. Underwater Kirby levels love air bubbles. There's a lot of air bubble levels, which is, which is a dope gimmick. I'll accept that. Oh, and you can even use it down. I didn't, didn't even remember that. Okay. No! Yeah, that down attack is pretty good, too. Alright. Get on up. And now we're in space. But we're in sea space. Because we're in the ocean in space. Space is just one big ocean. So we're in, like, the, the ocean space. What's that? What's that? What's that one Japanese RPG? It's not Space Ocean. Something similar. Star Ocean. That's the one. That's the one everyone got mad at because they made the 12-year-old girl actually wear pants. And even the Japanese players were like, what is this garbage? How come you're making the 12-year-old wear pants? To which all the Western players were like, well, any Western player with sense was like, no, it's kind of good you gave her pants. Honestly, I'll take that. Also, I did not want that, but okay. Cool. Uh, was that not where we go? No? Okay. That was a offshoot. Yeah, this is not the most optimized run, as you can see, but that's okay. Good. I meant for that. I meant for that. This is all intended. Intended strats. I would kind of like it if, when you got the deluxe, if you sucked them up, you'd get it, but... Spotion. That looks like Spore. It reminds me of Spore. One of these days I should do a Let's Play of Spore. I love Spore. I love it a lot, actually. It's one of the few PC games I really enjoyed. Even though people say, Ew, Spore, it's a bad game. It's 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 not not what it was should have been. And it's like, I enjoy it. Shut up. Oh, right. This has multiple paths. I forgot about this. You have to go kind of like down and... Then pick a direction. Hey, beam. I remember like having to like hack my way to get the Dr. Pepper machine parts for Spore. Because what if you bought a Dr. Pepper in America, you could get these special machine parts for animals for Spore, which was cool because there was no machine parts otherwise, and I really wanted them. But like it was America only, so what do I do? And so I actually had to like find this like gross, you know, cheating way of getting it, because... Because, of course, they make these things, and it's like, hey, this contest is the only way to get this thing, so what do you do? Well, if you live in Canada, you just die, because there's no other choice. It's great. Uh, I think I go up. That was the only way to do it. The only way to do it is to be big illegal man, but whatever. Really, it was just I just used a, 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 a key gen to generate a key and then emailed that in or something. And it's like, well, there we go. God, I forget which way is the way you go. Is it this way? Okay, well, yeah. This looks right. Telling your mother, I'm I'm 100% sure my mother of all people would not care. Okay, who we got here? Oh, Fatty Whale again? Um, who would be best? Probably... Bomb. So it's a projectile and you want to stay away from him. Good. That's what I wanted. His hitbox is absolute garbage. Also, yes, he's wearing a, a Sailor Fuku. Because, you know what? Why... The heck not. So yeah, that's that's him clearly in the background. He will hurt you there. 
So yeah, one thing about uh, Bomb Kirby is it starts with a bomb in his hand, which means you cannot guard right away. There we go. We beat him. One more world. I think if you get all the powers, you might get, I think, UFO? I could be wrong. I don't know if UFO's in this game. I think you, I'm pretty sure UFO is in this game somewhere. Or maybe it's only an ultra, right? UFO Kirby is like the ultimate reward power because you just fly around. So this level's weird. This level is... There was a Smash Bros. level that was pretty much this where you go between like seasons. So you have to be in the right world at the right time. So like, it's the fall. The fall is when the tree gets cut, I guess. No, I want to be a uh, copy... Stop. Stop you. There we go. There's a score function in this game. I have no idea if anyone even cares about it. So yeah, like, and now it's gonna be winter, so it's gonna be iced over. So you can go back, and it's gonna be summer, and it's gonna be free and open. Also, get out of here, chicken. I, I, I'd never even noticed there was a score system until I looked in the bottom corner and it noticed it going up. And I'm like, well, that's a thing in this game. Does anyone play for scores in anything? I mean, I guess some people must, but... So these are technically separate maps. Like, they're not the same world. But, uh, yeah. And I think, yeah, winter gets cut down and it's gonna grow back later. Nope, please, Yamate, could you stop? Okay, now I gotta go to the next season. It's a neat gimmick, but it's a bit confusing the first time you're playing and you're like, why am I in the same place? But now it's a different color palette. And then once you go to winter, then it becomes obvious what's happening, but for the first couple, it's not. I think I need to be in fall again. Yes. And there's the end. Boss fight, Duel Wispy, which ain't no thing. Like, that's it. There we go. Alright. So now we got all these Star Rod, uh, Star Fountains done, meaning... We can go to... Or did I miss one? I didn't miss one, did I? Oh, here we go. We can head to this guy. Two Wispies, one Kirby. And I'm actually going to show this cutscene because it's kind of crazy. So you have all the wishes from all the planets. And we use them. And it summons this dude, which is called the Galactic Nova, who asks me to write in basic. So literally, this guy is Shenron. He will grant one wish. And uh, Kirby wants the planet to stop fighting. But Marx, who actually appears in earlier cutscenes, like, I want to control the world. And this... This... He's a god. He's basically a, a time god. Gives Marx the power to control everything by turning him from a little tiny puffy dude into one of the most terrifying creatures of all time. Yeah, he's, uh, if you think, this form isn't too bad, except for, you know, the giant arms with matter you can't even tell what's happening going between them. Um, but, uh, his, his soul form in the in the DS game is terrible because when you defeat him, he screams so loud, in fact, that he, um, it, it's terrifying. Look up, look up Mark's scream and you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. See so yeah, we get to go and try and stop this. How? Oh, by playing Gradius. That's it. It's out of nowhere. But this happens more than once in Kirby games, believe it or not. So we're inside the Nova right now. And actually, if you see that thing in the back there, that thing in general in there actually becomes incredibly important in Kirby Planet Robobot. Uh, there's actually a heavy degree of continuity between this section here and Kirby Planet Robobot, which is really cool. Like, there's some great callback references in this, uh, which is dope. 
Music here is pretty creepy, too. I mean, this is pretty much baby's first shmup. It's not that difficult, but it's like, you can die here. Mostly through the environment, because you move at quite a brisk pace. And now you have a boss fight here. And this boss... Well, Kirby's dead. Did not mean to do that. This boss, uh, basically, you can one-cycle it if you get lucky here, where you want to try and pretty much get right up close and shoot them as fast as possible, because as you keep going, you'll speed up, and eventually you'll get guns so fast you can't kill them while they're on screen. Okay, there we go. So I, I one-cycled it normally, because then you go backwards through it, and then you have to go all the way back. But look at this, Mode 7. So that heart there is actually going to be a key component in Kirby Star Allies, which is kind of cool. That one is tough to avoid. Yeah, there you go. That section is super cool. I love it. So we heard him. I like his little kitty face, though. It's adorable. You get to fight another one of those dudes in Planet Robobot. Uh, not the same Galactic Nova, uh, but another one. Oh, hey, I forgot we're at Marks. Okay, cool. Um, what are we going to use for Marks? Let's use... Let's stick with Yo-Yo. So yeah, Marks here, uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get a bomb partner. Um, Marks here is a super good boss. Um, he's kind of like the sort of Kirby boss. He has very, um, not really telegraphed attacks, but his attacks basically use your own copy powers. Okay, so here's, he plants these seeds, and you just gotta wait and not get hit by them. I think I can guard that, yes. He gets extreme- Oh, here's his laser. Oh, no, it's not his laser. Later on, he gets a laser version of that, which is terrifying. Wait, did we beat him already? Are you serious? Poppy bro, you rocked that. Holy crap. I love this. Oh, that's such a good sound. Like, like we're, the silence that it hits, and it's so good. But that's it. We beat uh, Kirby. Yeah, that, that went by really quickly. Um... That went by extremely... That final boss, Poppy Bro kind of murdered it. So that's cool. Um, that's it. Thank you all for watching my speed run of Kirby Superstar, a game I like to come back to whenever I'm... Whenever I'm a little... You know, it took about... I'd say about two hours, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that's pretty dope. It's a pretty good, pretty good time. Yeah. That's about it. More like a slow run? Wow. What, why you gotta come after me like that? Once I'm no longer as sick. Hey, wait, where's he gonna be? There's my boy, Sakurai. Um, yeah, once I'm less sick, I definitely want to stream more. I'm probably gonna stream on Saturdays from now on, because it's the only time I'm not super busy. So, I can't skip this, but that's okay. Alright, see you guys later. Ciao.